What's up everybody? Today we're going to be talking about these new or slow fatigue pants in slim fit. Okay, I am generally the kind of guy that treats pants as a consumable. Now, if I'm looking for a jacket or maybe some nice shoes or, you know, a shirt, something like that, I'm looking for something that's hard-wearing and sustainably made and it's going to last me a long time and maybe even get better with age. But with pants, it just kind of is what it is. I'm looking for a decent price, a decent fit, and I'm out. So I usually just go with brands like, you know, Levi's or J. Crew or whatever. I kind of approach pants like most people approach athletic socks or boxers, whatever. But I figure since I'm doing this channel, at least once I'll try and be Mr. Fancy Pants. So I did some research online, read a whole bunch of forums and watched some YouTube videos and one pair of pants that really kept coming up over and over again were these Orslo fatigue pants. So Orslo is called Orslo because I guess they ran out of names. Okay, not exactly. They're called Orslo because it's like or slow fashion, you know, kind of an alternative to fast fashion. So it makes sense that they kind of fit the bill. This is not my first or slow piece. I have a denim jacket that I like a lot, but this is my first pair of pants by them for sure. So I found these at about 30% off at Kafka Mercantile and they did pretty good. These just kind of feel right. Uh, they just feel right on the money. When you hold them, the immediate impression you get is that they are made to fade and soften over time and are just that kind of good. Very cool fabric. And it's an easy to wear neutral green. Like, I really like all of pants, all of chinos, whatever you want to call them. And this kind of fits in my wardrobe pretty easy. So Orslo isn't really doing the waist measurement per se with these. They actually do number sizes like one, two, three, four. I'm usually a 34, 32 in J Crew 770 um, or Levi's 541. And these fit pretty similar to those. This is called the Slim Fit. I don't know if I'd call it slim. I'd say it's more of what's typically regarded as a straight fit in the United States. They put these buttons on the waist, so if you overshoot your size a little bit, you could still probably make it work pretty well. I have a complaint here, and that's these pockets. They have a hard time holding on to stuff. Like, my phone is a repeat offender. It could slip out of them pretty easily. Um, I'm not really a clothing designer, but from my perspective, they could have just added an inch of depth to these, and it would have made a world of difference. Honestly, even a half inch, and I don't think either one of those would have messed with the aesthetic at all. So ratings wise, because on my channel, I really like giving a letter grade to stuff. Uh, never did this before. I'm going to have to actually reserve judgment on these and, and wear them in heavy rotation for a few months and just kind of see how they break in, how they perform, if anything goes wrong with them or, you know, if they hold up great. I will get back to you on that. I'm cautiously optimistic, but I have to be thorough with this because even at 30% off, these are kind of pricey, at least for me, for pants, you know. So to be continued, my friends. Do you have a pair of these? Do you like them? Do you like another pair of fatigue pants that maybe I don't know about? Uh, let me know in the comments, and until next time, peace, my dudes.